bottlenecks. They're part of our modern lives. But when it comes to food and beverage production line manufacturing, blockages in production can be disastrous. If we think about um, expiry times uh, of food, uh, tight timelines, um, the, the need for them to all be low cost, certainly relatively minor bottlenecks can have a significant impact on the bottom line of these companies. According to CISPRO, advanced ERP or enterprise resource planning plays a critical role in overcoming manufacturing and supply chain inefficiencies. You know, for, for me, the, you know, the best way to solve these issues um, is to evaluate some of the metrics that we can get through the use of ERP systems. Um, you know, we need to basically evaluate the consequences of the bottlenecks regularly and, and work out what impact this is having to the business. So if you identify them and use a system to help prevent future bottlenecks, that's going to be hugely beneficial for any business in this food and beverage space. In many cases, an ERP system can effectively become the financial and operational backbone of a business. You know, effectively an ERP system can integrate everything from planning to purchasing to inventory to sales, marketing, finance, human resources, you know, much more. So everything, the entire business operation. So basically, in, in our mind, the ERP system becomes uh, the heart or the backbone of your operation. So it really is critical. One of CISPRO's clients in the Philippines, Vikings Restaurants, says the ERP system they're now using helped significantly cut the cost of raw ingredients by around 20%. Before, uh, before CISPRO, our food cost is almost more than 70%. Then uh, after that, we saw the areas for improvements. And uh, from 70%, we were able to manage it even uh, as, as low as uh, less than 50%. I can see uh, really what's happening financially among uh, in all the branches, what's, what's the real time that's, that's happening there, even on sales and purchases. For any food and beverage manufacturer, crippling bottlenecks can be caused by many issues. With raw materials, with staff, machinery breakdowns, supply chain issues, even customer problems. But with an ERP helping to predict the issues, efficient production can be restored, maintained and improved. CISPRO says an ERP system needs to be user-friendly, but importantly also needs to be flexible enough for the requirements of different regional jurisdictions. Asia is one of those uh, regions that has uh, multiple um, compliance regulations and intricacies in each of these different jurisdictions. So, you know, no one size definitely doesn't fit all. Some sort of questions could be like, do our recipes need changes before we sell the product in specific countries? Can the product be certified in halal, for example? What, uh, what about if, if an issue arises um, in a certain batch? You know, how, who's affected, where is it affected and how can we recall it? What's the traceability around this? And, and ultimately, I think one of the main questions companies should be asking themselves is where is the biggest opportunity to reduce production costs? What we're ultimately doing is giving these manufacturers full visibility of their operations, right, so that they can manage their supply chain um, and inventory and make sure they're on top of the game. As the business world heads into the fourth industrial revolution, artificial intelligence and automation will become critical to business success. You know, certainly over the next decade, all those forward-thinking businesses will, will transform themselves um, and they'll be the leaders um, in the markets, you know, and they'll do this through connectivity, uh, data insights, um, automation that we've spoken about using AI and machine learning. And, you know, there's definitely going to be a very different looking workforce as this thing unfolds. Manufacturing experts say the COVID-19 disruption has shown us clearly that businesses need to reset themselves to be more resilient and more agile in the future with information systems in place to provide immediate insights to decision makers. If the pandemic's taught uh, business leaders anything, it's that they need to be agile and you know, it's, it's clear to me that uh, digital transformation is no longer a luxury but it is a necessity. For some businesses, implementing an ERP has helped them grow rapidly, many by more than double. Vikings Restaurants has gone from 12 outlets to 58 in just five years. 
before the owners uh, is a little bit hesitant in expanding the business because we don't have a backbone, eh? we don't have a financial backbone the system. So without CISPRO, probably we would not have reached this far. It's basically connecting all aspects of manufacturing and, and it will report on the efficiency and productivity of these operations and supply chain in real time. It's really taking them to a, a new area where no one's really gone before. So it's pretty exciting times.